Hey there, welcome to the workout today. We are gonna hit those thighs because you guys keep asking me for more lower body workouts that are low impact. So we're gonna get started right now with no equipment. You guys ready? Let's do this. So you guys are just gonna have to take my word for it. If you're not actually going through this with me, it's gonna look ridiculous. But I promise it's working and it's definitely gonna pay off if you push through and really use my muscle connection. You hear me say it all the time if you work out with me. All right, so open up the chest. Let's go ahead and put all of our weight onto the right side. We are gonna do every exercise for about 20 seconds on each leg. So we're gonna balance here. Go ahead and grab a chair or a wall if you need to for extra stability. Bring one leg up and just lift through the quad. So relax that foot and here we go, 20 seconds. So nice, slow and steady. And of course, this is gonna look like I'm doing nothing until you get up and do it with me. For those of you who are, you are a rock star. Keep going, point that toe. Good job. So the front of your legs, those are your quads. Those babies are working right now. All right, perfect. Go ahead and switch. Other side. Stand up nice and tall. There you go. So make sure that knee, you want it to be high enough that that, that whole front part of your leg, almost forgot what I was trying to say. <laughs> the whole front part of your leg here is pretty much flush with the ceiling, so parallel with the floor. Good work, keep going. Last two, and one. Okay, we're gonna get onto the floor. So now things are warmed up right here in front of the legs, those quads. Some of you call me quadzilla or thunder thighs and I'm totally okay with it. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and pull this leg underneath. It's gonna stabilize you. Bring this leg out in front, so I don't want it to be straight in alignment with your entire body. Bring it out to the front so you can see your foot. Okay, we're just gonna raise. Bring back down, don't hit the floor, and jump on it. Good job. Nice, slow and steady, so don't go through the motions any faster than this cadence. You can definitely go slower if you need to, but don't rush through. We want the isolation. We want to recruit the muscles. We want to make sure we're firing for long enough. Go ahead and bring it down and switch. Rather than just spinning through as fast as you can. That's what cardio's for. Okay, here we go, other side. Good job. Point that toe. Feel the outer thigh working, the abductors. Really good. You've got this, keep going. A few more. Really lift. And switch, okay. We're gonna go to this side again, but we're gonna do something a little different. So now we aren't gonna use this as a stabilizer, we're actually gonna use this as a working leg. So again, pop yourself up kind of like a side plank here. Okay, hand on hip to help stabilize. So I want you to go ahead and lift. Back down, lift. So you're staying about six inches up off the floor. There you go. Jump on in if you haven't already. Good job. Nice soft knee, so you don't need to lock your knee out. Good lift, good job. Hanging in there, give me a few more. And switch, other side. You guys are doing great, so low impact. Make sure you guys cycle through a couple times for a full sweat session. Or you can repeat uh, with a couple other videos here on my channel. The idea is to not get too bored. Going. Really lift, lift, lift. Give me a couple more, make it count. These introductions are really working right now. Last one. Perfect. Okay, so now go ahead and flip it over. We're gonna go ahead and get donkey kick position. So right here. Okay, I want you to bring your leg up. So a little bit more than parallel with the floor. And just bring it up till you feel the glute activated and back down. So small range of motion, go ahead and jump in. Flex that foot, there you go. Perfect. Keep going. You should feel those glutes working. Everything's connected, keep going. Draw the core in, belly button the spine, two more. And switch, other side. Flex the foot, good work. Make sure you're not hyperextending the back. Make sure that core is tight in the front. 
and that's how you're going to reduce that flexion in the lumbar. Doing great. Breathe, breathe, breathe. A few more. Last two. And one. Awesome. Okay, go ahead and stand it on up. We've got one more to do. Here you go. All right. So hands on hips, kind of our MO today. All right, so we're gonna bring one foot in front of the other, out to the side, like so. Jump on in. If you guys have ankle weights at home you wanna use, plug in with those, you're gonna give yourself more resistance. Make this a little harder. A few more, really lift. One more, bam, okay, walk it out. Stay okay, hanging in there, keep going, keep going. Next one, here we go. If you look at one thing and focus on it, it's gonna help you stabilize. I'm putting those angles to work today, aren't we? <laughs> keep going. All the way up, all the way up. Give me two more. The last one. Whew. And that is it. So as always, make sure you guys are subscribed here to the channel. I love hearing from you, so leave your comments. You guys can message me with any questions on social media. Of course, you can find me at kelseylee.com. But do let me know what you thought of this short and sweet workout and really mix and match. So don't just stop here, keep it moving. Go ahead and rewind, do it again, or go ahead and find something else on the channel that you love and do that a couple times. You wanna get focused exercise three to five times a week or more if your schedule allots for it and your energy allots for it too. But make sure you guys are staying consistent because that's where results happen. So stay on top of it and I will see you here next time.